just when I needed you, you put your arms around my world. You said you would, said you could. I never dreamed you would. Be there when I needed you. You were the only love around. You seem to be all I need. Somebody somewhere you and I. Somebody somewhere, they heard me cry. Somebody somewhere sent you to me when I, I needed you. Oh, I needed you. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the crazy house. Listen, listen, listen. This is not going to be a long blog. I just got to say something. You know, I visited Minnesota. Um, I had some business to take care of. And um, I'm really, really taken aback, but I'm really happy that I showed a lot of restraint, more than I ever thought possible, because when I try to focus on love, then the better side of myself comes out. If I'm not thinking, boy, you'll get this ram and it'll ram them horns right up your ass, and I mean that literally. But usually when I'm focusing, concentrate on you. No, when I concentrate on love and make that my highest priority, I come out of the situation a little better, okay? And I, this is what I've observed after all this time of living about myself. So to all, you know, and all I know thyself, okay? So I was in this restaurant in the Mall of America. Where is that at? In Bloomington or something? No. Um, I don't know where it's at, but I wanted to go. Um, and there was this this restaurant that I like. I can't even think of the name of it right now. Bistro, I don't know what the name of it is. Um, but I had I experienced something that I haven't experienced in such a long time that I didn't know how to respond. So look, I kept my composure and I allowed my inner self, my intellect, go to work. What I experienced was a young lady, I don't even want to say young because she had to be in her mid-30s and early 40s. She actually came up and touched my hair. Y'all heard me? You heard me? She actually thought that it was okay for her to just randomly come up and touch my hair. And I know a lot of us can, especially black people or people with curly hair or people that are just not experiencing, um, don't have that white privilege that they think they can just go up and do any damn thing to somebody. I put her in her place so fast that her face turned so red from the neck up, you would have thought that it was an apple. And but but the bigger picture here is what in the hell makes white people in particular, more specifically, think that they can walk up and touch people's hair? What make you think, and, and I have my own reasons of what I think. I think it's because you think that you're above me and I'm below you and you get to pet me like you do a damn dog. Um, You know, because... Back in the day, 
Of course, they had petting zoos. This is one of the reasons why they want to take history, especially black history, which is American history, out of the classrooms and burn the books because they have a history that they can't face. Okay? So since they can't face it, they'll never heal. Um, and they remain uh, addicted to their madness, to, to their fake sense of superiority, all that shit. All of it. So, what what would make a person think that they have a right to uh, in this day and age? Now, I can see you did it when you really thought that uh, we were your property. Obviously, you still believe that. Because I can't believe in the year 2023 that you would still feel it's okay that you can rub somebody's head or touch somebody's hair. And how many of y'all experienced that? Have you ever experienced somebody walking up to you that you don't even know, never don't know from Adam's Tomcat? And don't ask, don't say nothing, just put their hands in your hair. And so you become a reactionary. I want to just leave this words with white folk, in, uh, like I said, in particular, more specifically. Please do not go up to any black person or person of color or even any human being, for that matter, in my opinion, and touch their hair without their permission. You do not own the rights to their bodies. Their bodies is not free for you to analyze and dissect, and neither is their hair. You need to ask for permission if you really feel that compelled to touch somebody's head. You need to ask. You need to ask. Because you don't, you're going to get broke off. And that's really much the size of it. I, I came from a good, mature angle. But there are some of us that are not that mature and don't even give a damn. Okay? Because they've had it with y'all superiority attitude and your um, uh, thought process that you are superior to somebody and so that you get to feel all over them without their permission. Anyway, I want to know what y'all think. Has it ever happened to you? You can be honest. And if it if it's a white person out in the audience that does touch people here, tell me why. Maybe I can get a better understanding because I know what I think why you do it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you've got another reason why you do it. If so, leave your comment below. And please like the video. Please like the video. Please share the video. And um, we'll see you in the next video.